Welcome to the AIM Insight eTraining Series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This module is discussing calculating gear position in Race Studio 2. Gear position can be a very helpful channel in data analysis, and you may not have a sensor on your race vehicle to give you this information. If you have both a speed and RPM channels, Race Studio 2 can be set up to create a gear position channel. Since it will be calculated from the information you already have in your data file, we will call this a math channel. Math channels can be very powerful. We are only going to focus on the gear position math channel, but there are many other channels that can be created. The Race Studio 2 software even has a few already included to get you started, including a generic AIM gear channel, which we will see in a moment. To get started, it is best to have an open test that you want to add the gear position math channel. Then to start, just click on the math channels icon. This opens the math channels window. This is where you will build, modify, and delete math channels. Notice there are two tabs across the upper left corner. The tab we are open to right now is the active test tab. The active test tab in this example is named Porsche GT3 Cup. And as you can see, we do not have any math channels attached to this test. To take a look at what is in the general list of math channels that are provided by Race Studio 2 software, or previously created, click on the general tab. Here is the list of generic math channels that is supplied with Race Studio 2. Sometimes it can be easier to select a generic channel and modify it to do what you like. Since there is a generic AIM gear math channel already built, we are going to select and modify it. Let's click on the AIM gear math channel. After highlighting it in the general list, the software provides a method to copy and paste a math channel between the general list and the open tests. That area is highlighted here. OK, now that the AIM gear is highlighted, we will just click on the Add button to place it into the staging area. Now that we have added the AIM gear math channel to the staging area, we need to select the Porsche GT3 Cup tab. OK, now to move the AIM gear channel into our open test, we just need to click on the Paste button. Great, now that we have moved the generic channel into the current test math channel list, we need to do a few things to make sure it works well for us there. First, we need to highlight the channel so we can make our edits, so I will click on the AIM gear math channel name. First, we should take a look at the channel parameters area highlighted here and see if there is anything we should change. First, I see that the unit of measure input box is empty. We should fill this box so when we display the channel, it tells us what units we are looking at. So I will select the unit of input measure box and type in a pound sign. This is fairly universal for indicating gear position units. Next, since we are editing the gear position channel, we should also give it a more descriptive name. Click on the ellipsis button, the button with three dots on it, to change the channel name. This opens the Change Measure Name window. I will change the name to GT3 Gear to match the car used in this test. Then click on the OK button to complete the name change. The rest of the values in the channel parameters look good, so the next thing we need to do is test the channel and make sure it works correctly before we finish. Race Studio 2 gives a very handy tool for this. Let's click on the Test Channel button. As you can see highlighted here, the software is giving an error that there is a value that is unknown. In the formula, the problem area is highlighted. Seems in the test data we have open, there is not a channel named Engine. The formula is looking for the RPM channel, and in this list highlighted here, which is all of the channels included in the test, we just need to double click on the RPM channel. Bosch RPM is the correct channel, so I will double click on it. As you can see here, the actual channel has replaced the generic engine channel that was there before. Now I will click on the test channel button again. Here the software has shown us another error. The generic speed 1 channel is not in our test channels. So from the list we just need to double click on a valid speed channel. I am going to click on Bosch Speed 1. And you can see the formula has been updated. The 1 and the 6 at the end of the formula are the lowest and highest gears in the gearbox, and since this car has a 6-speed transmission, they are OK. If you have a 4-speed, you would just need to change the 6 to a 4. I will click on the Test Channel button one more time. And the formula is now correct. If we clicked on the OK button right now, the open test would have the GT3 math channel added. 
However, if you want to use this gear math channel in all future tests, and you most likely will, so you do not have to do this for each test, we can add the new edited gear back into the general list and have it automatically inserted into files. The first thing we need to do is clear out the staging area that currently holds the AIM gear math channel. So I will click on the empty button. Then, while the GT3 gear math channel is highlighted, click on the add button. You notice that the GT3 gear channel has been added to the staging area. Now we need to select the general tab. Then click on the paste button to move the GT3 gear channel into the general list of math channels. Perfect. Now there is one more thing we should do. Select the GT3 gear channel so we can view the channel parameters. In the generals tab, there is one option that was not in the channel parameters when we had an individual test open. Highlighted here is an option that will automatically insert the highlighted channel into your files. To enable this, select the checkbox. We can also overwrite channels with the same name as this channel is automatically inserted, but in this case I am not going to check that function. To complete the process, click on the OK button. As you can see, here at the bottom of the channels list in the measures and laps toolbar, the GT3 gear channel is now there. Let's select the channel and view it in the main window. Here we are viewing the data in the mixed graphs view with the speed trace in the number 1 or upper position and the new GT3 gear trace in the number 2 or lower position. As you can see the gear position is showing the typical stair stepped trace showing which gear was engaged. Since this data actually does have an ECU based gear position channel, let's view it in the main window as a check against our new GT3 gear math channel. Let's select the Bosch gear channel. As you can see, both gear channels are now in the lower part of the main window and shows that our new GT3 gear calculated channel, in red, is very accurate. And in fact, the blue Bosch gear channel actually has more noise in the trace than the calculated version. Math channels, and in this case, calculated gear position, are very valuable and not very difficult to create. You just need an active speed, an RPM channel, and a little time in the math channels function. For more AIM Insight eTraining content and information about upcoming on-site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIM Sports products when and where you want it.